What is good, J Mike? PWG. And this is Unisport Uncut episode number 32. 32. 32, exactly. Ooh. And this guy's back, Phil. Yeah, finally, back from the dead, right? We brought you back to talk about your favorite subject, balls. Footballs. Footballs, Football. exactly. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, you brought a lot of footballs, yes. obviously because of this guy Ooh. that just came out, which obviously we're going to start talking about brand new Champions obviously. League ball. But we figured that now that we have the balls master here with us, this is going to be a fun one. The balls master is here with us. Why not discuss all the best footballs on the market? So um, let's just jump right into it. Make sure that the sound is on just for Joel's sake. And here we go. <laughs> 10 minutes, we're not going to make it. Okay. <laughs> Let's start off yes. with the Champions League ball, because obviously uh, we've got a brand new design for the new round of Champions League, the, the finals of Champions League. Looking a bit daring, doesn't it? That is because the final is held in Wales. Wales. In Cardiff. The land of the dragons. Exactly. Or is it? I don't know. Or China. It is, but there are dragons in <laughs> there Wales are dragons, as well. And, and it kind of goes along with, with you know, the new uh, UCL dragon pack from Adidas. So yes. it, it all fits together. What do you think of the design? I do think it's a little bit daring. I like the you know like the concept with the dragons, but yeah. I think it's the wrong design of the dragons. So not really a big fan, but I do like the small textures here in the white. It like looks it's good. It gray looks good. on white, and especially in this lighting, it looks mwah. just like you know the 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 previous Champions League ball where they had all the small comments from the stars written in. Yeah. With this, I think it's actually a nice little touch, and it looks. It actually looks super match ball y. I mean, it's got that premium, very premium, premium look, very premium feel. Yes, I, I, I absolutely agree. I think, you know what? I think the colors of this ball, are, they're very, very good. I just yes. don't necessarily like the dragon design. It's a bit too manga ish. Yeah, you don't really see that it's a dragon until you Oops. see the dragon's head. No. Which is a bit of a problem. That's actually true. It just looks like some weird shapes. But yeah. You know, I've always liked the Champions League design, the, 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 the panel design with the stars and all that stuff. But, you know, for me, it, it's the colors that takes this home. Yeah. I, I would say that. In terms of performance on the ball, what, what do you think, Phil? Uh, you know what? I'm going to say, like, for freestyle, it's a bit slippery. And since yeah. I'm the freestyle guy, it's a little bit slippery. Yeah. But for a football guy, how is it? I, I mean, like, it's, it's it's a good ball, and and because of the panel shape, it is a bit it is a bit uh, lively, should we say? It's got a very good texture into it. Uh, it's pretty padded. It is an Adidas ball after all, and it's one of those balls that it's not the craziest ball out there. That probably goes to the on. <laughs> well, not even in design wise, it's the craziest. No, ball, no, no. But, but, it's, but it's 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 it, it can live it up if you hit it the right way. Yeah. But it's not that. It's not like the Adidas balls of old that just no. It's not the, two, the 2010. But but it's a fun, uh, you know, solid, uh, actually pretty. Uh, should we say a reliable ball to play with, and and I like it quite a lot. Is it pingable, curvable, or knuckleable? I'd say pingable and curvable. Nice. And if you got the techies, you can you can knuckle it as well. But and I'm just dropping lingo. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is. Fam, let's move on to uh, to the craziest ball <sighs> in the mix. And the New Balance Furon destroy. Destroy. Um, let me just be be very very blunt. <laughs> this is not the best football I have ever played with. No. Um, it's on the other hand one of the funniest footballs I've ever played with. I've seen you enjoy playing with this for so many times. It's like when we, whenever we have a free kick session, yes. the few times, yes. Whenever we get the football back, it's like, I want the Furon, I want the Furon. Because you know it will go like this. There's a reason for that. If you hit it hard enough, there's not very much padding on this ball. It's a very, it's a very hard ball. It's got a little bit of texturing on it. And the panel shape and the fact that the bladder is, is made as it is, um, it means that it's a very, very uh, fast moving ball. Yeah. And it, it also actually moves a little bit in the air. It's not, you don't again, really know. It's not again like the Adidas balls of old, but, uh, but it's actually a really, really fun ball to play with. And, our old goalkeeper Morden had used to say that he hated this ball because he hated this a lot. <laughs> it was so ridiculously fast. What's yeah. it like for freestyle? Um, I tried it just a few times, and I would say that it is absolutely terrible. Okay. Like complete <laughs> garbage for freestyle. So don't go there. Don't. No, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it at that. Just okay. put it I'm, aside. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna take this. Uh, I also do think that it's actually not a bad looking football. No, it's pretty cool. It, it is. is. It is. I, I like cool. the. I like the colorway, and it kind of reminds me of some kind of old kit from Germany. Yeah. 
Do you know what? I feel you. I feel you. Yeah? It's blue though, not black. Anyways, yeah. um, solid football. I'm and if you are now. a football <laughs> YouTuber, and you know, you do a lot of free kicks and shots on goal, whatever, this is a fun football and a pretty spectacular football to play with if, uh, if you're looking for that sort of thing. It may even make me look good with a free I, kick. I doubt it. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> anyway, Phil, um, moving on to the Select Brilliant Super. What, uh, before I go into absolute uh, just fest overdrive here, I know you love the Brilliant Super, this is and this is, this is not really an uh, like exception for you. You love this ball. You have been talking about it all day. Um, I have. I have. Honestly, this is the best football on the market, and uh, it's up against some very good footballs, and I'll get into them later, but, but for me, this is the most stable, reliable, but also a fast-moving, uh, lively ball there is. Uh, they have, th this is Thermal Bonnet, the new ball. It's basically the same as the old with the new golf ball texture. And that's what it's called TB, right? Thermal Bonded, exactly. Yeah. You got the, the, you got the text back, man. I, but, I didn't know. But actually, uh, comparing it to the other balls, you've got that, you know, dead accuracy that you just want. The ball goes where you want it to. If you're rubbish, it's, it's not gonna go the way you want it to. But, so but it's bad a, YouTube free kickers don't get this ball. No, but, but <laughs> at the same time, they actually made it a little bit more fast paced uh, compared to the older Brilliant Super Bowls that were a little, they were a little harder, they were a little rougher to the touch. So you would really need to, to hit it with a lot of fewer to, to get. Uh, but, but now that it's, it's a bit padded. It's and a bit padded, yeah. And I think that is also a good thing for freestyle. Nice segue. Okay. I think it's like, I don't know if it's like really like match, added as match ball good for no. freestyle, but since they added this golf ball kind of thing, yeah. that you also get to see on the Evo Power yeah. on some of the panels. We'll I, get to think, that later. I think it could become a good freestyle ball, but I know that this is not their aim, so I'm gonna leave it with your statement seeing that it's the best football on the market which is their aim so so that's pretty much true and some people will disagree some people will say it's the Ordem or the Champions League ball or the Krasova but for me there's no there's no football I'd rather play with if I was to play in a in a really decisive match it's it's just the most reliable ball out there and and select are absolutely killing it moving on we're yes. running short on time too the Nike Ordem probably one of the most profile balls in the entire world, because it's used in the Serie A, the Premier League, and the La Liga. Um, yeah. For freestyle, what's it like? Um, not really a big fan. It doesn't have that kind of like bladder texture as you see on the Adidas Match Balls and even on the, the Puma Evo Power mm -hmm. that you get on the Brilliant Super. So it's really, really like even if you pump it out really hard, it's very hard. It is so really you, hard. Um, so it doesn't get that really like soft kind of cushion texture no. on the outside, which is what we like. Yeah. Um, it's got these uh, fun little, like, uh, almost grooves in the panels in the uppers. Aerodynamic think, stripes, the, or the what do you so want to call it? The so-called aero tracks, as you guys can see here. And they're actually, uh, they're supposed to give you a better, uh, a better aerodynamics on the ball, but it actually makes for really, really stable football. Perhaps even more so than the Brilliant Super. It's a bit difficult because the Brilliant Super is really stable, but it's, it's very stable. It's not as lively, although if you hit it properly, it does have, it does have a bit of movement in it. But you, you, you gotta admit though, that one of the best goals I scored, well, <clears throat> one of the very few goals I scored <laughs> back in when I was in uh, Christmas in Unisport yes. two years ago, one of my best goals was with this one. And it's not a bad football, it's just, for me, it's a little bit uh, too hard and it's a little bit too, probably too heavy for me to, to really, you know, enjoy it. But, but it's, it's a very stable football and, and probably the one I would play with after the select ball in a match. Because it's, match. it's you, can, you can rely on it. For YouTube, I'd rather go with one of the more lively balls, but, uh, but that's how it is. And it looks gorgeous. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I'll say. Gorgeous. The new design is, is flipping fantastic, gotta say. Moving on to one Ooh. of my favorites. And now we got Phil on the Holy table. Holy <laughs> crap. Okay, we've got the Adidas Krasava Confederations Cup 2017 in Russia. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, Phil is having a ball gasm here. Is that really <laughs> the right word to say? No, no. A ball gasm? A ball gasm. Like, okay, seriously. Look at the colors. Yeah, it's a beautiful ball. The beautiful colors, ball. like, they remind me so much of the Adidas Sakura from 2009, which beautiful. is my all-time favorite match ball ever made, ever. But tell me why you like it so much. Okay, so first of all, we've got the, like, majority of the pattern is white. Mm -hmm. 
and we've got red, mm -hmm. and white and red goes really well because my favorite team has white and red. But the the panels yes. and the texture of the panels is just the same as the Beaujeu, which is mwah, yeah for freestyle. I can't really tell you why because you know every freestyle to their own, but this right now is the best freestyle ball out there. Okay. So I'm making the bold statement as you did with the Brilliant Super, but with freestyle and Adidas Crossa. But and it's a good football for for you know footballers as well. I mean, I, I like it a lot. It has it has some lively movement to it. It is a padded football and and but it's got a good texture as well. I mean, it's one of those really well-rounded footballs that that's You're fun soft. to it's soft. it's, it's, it's nice. fun to play with. It's responsive. It moves a bit in the air, granted, but but you know for, for again for YouTubers, ooh. Is that it? Damn it, sorry, Paul. Told you I wouldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like for YouTubers, this is one of the more fun balls at the market, uh, on the market at the moment, uh, to, to play with because it's got that movement in it if you if you strike it hard enough. But I actually, you know, I think it's it's a really well-rounded football uh, as compared to, to the autumn, which is really hard and stable, yeah. and and it, it, it's a bit more, let's say, lively than the Champions League. Ball. Yeah. Mind you, it's not the same kind of panels, not no. the same kind of patterns or anything. No. So these two are com two completely different balls. Exactly. Although made by Adidas, this is this is by far the more uh, fast moving ball. This is a little bit more stable, but still, you know, in the fun fast department, should we say? Adidas do fun make fun fast department. That's fun fast department. They, his they, department. They, they do make they do make these uh, slightly more padded uh, fast moving footballs. Yeah. Moving on to Puma, which is probably the most padded of them all. Yes, the because Evo Powerball. they even have two different kinds of texture. We've got the kind of, I don't know what, what to call this. It's a bit not really smooth. And then you've got the golf ball kind of texture on this side, which is yeah. very similar to one on the Brilliant Super. Yeah. But for freestyle, I would say that if they went with either one of these textures, it would be a great freestyle ball. Uh -huh. But now they went with two because they were stuck in the middle and didn't know what to do. <laughs> no rhyme intended. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that if they went with either of these patterns or textures, it would be a great freestyle ball. I I'm, would say this this texture right here. I, I'm going to be brief on this ball. The Evo Power is really, really, really unreliable, but it's Hella fun, fun <laughs> to play with. I mean, it's very padded and it moves a lot. Uh, it's really fast if you if you pump it up properly and you hit it in the right, if you hit it in the sweet spot, just below uh, the needle. Yeah. Um, it's really, really fun and just moves all over the place. It, it's not as fast as the the, the Fury and Destroy. No, but what, which, which ball is? It, I mean. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Actually, the Brilliant Super comes up there when you really strike it cleanly. Yeah. But but this this just moves all over the place. It's a really fun football, but I probably wouldn't want to play with it in a match. I wouldn't no. probably choose. I don't think that. Morton would either. No, the goalkeeper. But, but 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 again, a really really fun football to play with. Um, absolutely, and a, and a good ball. And that's that's really important for us to say that all of these balls uh, on the table are top tier balls. Yes, uh, they're, they're top of the line. Or the best match balls that they you know each manufacturer make. Yes. But I actually have an honorable mention that didn't fit on the table because it's you not... You gotta make it quick. You gotta make it quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You okay, so very, very quick. We've got the Monta street match. Okay. Okay, so I'm not really in this department of playing street football. But when I do, mm -hmm. this is the ball to go with. Because it's, of the texture? Because the... The weight? Okay. The low, the incredibly low... Bounce, yeah. Bounce. Wow. And this is... For street football, it's just gorgeous. And for ground moves, it's gorgeous. For freestyle, absolutely horrible. <laughs> because you've got the freestyle ball yes. that Monza also makes, which is pretty good. Okay. But this is the only way to go, in my opinion, if you want to play small-sided game of street football. So street football is, now you know, that's a service for you guys too. But guys, let's just let's just round it up. Favorite ball on the table, Phil? Without a doubt. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm Adidas getting, I'm Crossava. Getting... Boom. Brilliant Super, Adidas Crossava. Which one should we give away? One of the, our, 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 I'm not gonna give away this way. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. So let's let's give away the new ball, the new Champions League. You really ball. want it, guys? Okay. One of you can win this ball, and all you have to do is to leave a comment right down below, an awesome comment as per usual. And the same thing might happen to you as happened to this comment oh, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm already giving it away. Ooh, this comment now. right here. Who won a pair? Not of my used.
Nike grip socks. <laughs> yeah, I, I promise you. I promise you guys. They will <laughs> be new. They're new. Hopefully, you're giving out like, new ones, right? I'm giving out new ones. But congratulations. We're gonna get in touch. And um, yeah, remember to leave an awesome comment on the new finale ball. Tell us what you think. Let us know in the comment section below. And Phil, I guess we'll see you later on in uh, Unisport Uncut. Thanks for coming, bro. Thank you. And oh, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're At least up. I'm not leaving in hanging. Guys, we're signing off. Cereal. Cereal. Wow, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs>